This is a Tesla Model Y with the 19 inch Gemini wheels and in this video I'm going to review these wheel covers from Basenor. These wheel trims are in the style of the 21 inch Uber turbine wheels that you get on the Performance model. First off I'll just cover the packaging because they are packaged particularly well. They're each in their individual boxes and then they're also in two layers of padding as well so a sort of a foam liner and a bubble wrap bag and then you also get in this bag a plastic tool the self-adhesive foam strip and you stick that around the inner edge of the wheel trims and you also get some Tesla emblems and as you can see there are a lot because you get four with the silver logo, four with a black logo, and four with a red logo. So you can choose which you prefer to go in the middle of your wheel trim. So you can have that design, that design, or that design. My personal preference is that design, so I'm just going to stick this one on. I'm just going to warm the adhesive up a little bit with the hot air gun because it is a cold day today and get any moisture off there and that will ensure that they stick very well first time. And then drop that down in there, give that a good push. And these also have a plastic protective film on them as well. So yeah, there we go. And then the next thing is to stick some foam tape on each wheel. And uh, yeah, these cut, so you do have four individual pieces there. And then this just needs sticking around the inside lip there, which I'll do off camera. So as you can see, this tape is a little bit longer than you need. So just stick it all around that outside lip, which I've done, and then just trim it with a pair of scissors. So it ends up like that. So the purpose of this tape is to protect the outside edge of the aloe wheel here, because the original Gemini wheel trims sit within the lip of the alloy so this outside edge is exposed so if you curb your wheels you damage the alloy whereas aftermarket wheel trims are that little bit bigger and they go over that aluminium lip so if you curb your wheels you're going to damage the wheel trim which is much cheaper and easier to replace than getting your wheels refurbished. The Basenal website says that this tape reduces noise so I guess that they say that because uh, it's going to stop any rattling of the plastic wheel trim against the alloy there. Um, possibly it's to stop them whistling with the wind noise going through across the side, I'm not sure. But anyway, all third party wheel trims follow the same principle of sticking foam on the inside edge. And Basinet also say that these wheel trims have a 4% efficiency gain over the original Tesla Gemini wheel trim. So that's the whole purpose of a wheel trim, is to improve the efficiency of the electric vehicle. So before I fit these, what I'm going to do is take the vehicle out for a run with the original Gemini covers, record the efficiency of the vehicle on a set circuit, then fit these and then do the same drive again to see if I can measure that. So I've reset both my trips and I'm going to drive for about 45 minutes now. I'm not going to have the heating on, but I have preconditioned the car. I didn't want to run the heating just because that might skew the results more than that 4%. Uh, because as the day warms up, the heating might not be needed as much on the second trip. So I've turned the heating off, but I've got my heated steering wheel on and my heated seat. And it's 7 degrees outside today. So this drive is going to be a mixture of different road types. About half of it is going to be dual carriageways where it will be at sort of 60 and 70 miles an hour and the rest will be rural A and B roads where 
it's typically going to be sort of uh, 50 miles an hour. And then I'll come back, fit the wheel trims, and then go out and repeat exactly the same drive, doing the same speeds, and it's also going to be in the same conditions. So it'll be a very interesting test to see whether I can see a difference in efficiency between the original Tesla Gemini wheel covers and these new base nor wheel covers. So that's that done. I've driven 48 minutes, 36 miles, reset trip A there, used 9 kilowatt hours of energy with an average uh, efficiency of 239 watt hours per mile. So now let's swap over these wheel trims. So the wheel trims just pull off like this, just pull it off around each spoke. That came off relatively easily. And you can see there the clips there squeezing either side of the spokes. Whereas the aftermarket wheel trims, and generally they all use the same principle, is they have a slightly different clip and instead they're squeezing between the spokes. So in terms of quality, the Tesla wheel trims are quite a soft, pliable plastic, whereas these and the majority of aftermarket wheel trims are the same. They were much harder, more rigid plastic. And if I weigh them, the Tesla one is 781 grams, and the Basinal one is 909 grams. So when it comes to fitting, I've got to line up the hole there with the valve. Make sure that centre hub is snapped in. And there, they're really easy to fit. So, how does that look compared to the Gemini? Well, I certainly make the wheels look an awful lot bigger. And also, when you're looking at an angle through those spokes, you can hardly see any of the silver alloy wheel behind. So I'll now crack on and replace those other three. So that's them now fitted and I think they look really good. So I'm going to go off and repeat that drive again and see if I can see a difference with the efficiency. So I've just got back from this drive and unfortunately the conditions of this drive were slightly different to the previous drive. It was raining and uh, as you probably know driving on wet tarmac uses more fuel than driving on dry tarmac and because the glass was misting up I had to put the air conditioning on three times during the drive. So let's have a look what it did because if the efficiency is anywhere near the same as the first drive I would say that is a win for the new wheel trims. So we go to trips and again 36 miles used 8 kilowatt hours with an average of 233 watt hours per mile. So on the first trip I averaged 4.18 miles per kilowatt hour and on the second 4.29 miles per kilowatt hour. So even though the conditions were worse, I saw an improvement in the efficiency, which I was very surprised. And that's nearly that 4%. So clearly these wheel trims are more efficient than using the original Gemini ones. So what that equates to is you're going to get roughly 10 to 12 miles more range from a full battery in the Model Y. So what's my conclusion of these base snore wheel trims? Well, the whole purpose of a wheel cover on an electric vehicle is to improve the efficiency. Tesla owners are then changing their wheel covers to improve the looks, but usually at the cost of efficiency. So when a product can do both better than the original Tesla cover, then this is obviously a product to get. And then with the added benefit that you can choose what design logo you want in the middle, and you haven't got to buy additional products. And in the future, if I get bored with this one, I could knock that one out because there are holes at the back which will allow you to push the sticker back off and I could change the emblem to another design. 
So Basenal did actually send me these wheel trims free of charge in exchange for an unbiased review on the channel. But I think they look great and they're staying on the car. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I recently fitted some other aftermarket wheel trims on this car, which I'd purchased myself. And uh, unfortunately for me, Basenal contacted me only a week after I'd fitted those. But anyway, these are staying on the car, mainly because that slight efficiency improvement, but also because they look good, of course. I'll put links to these in the video description below where you can source them on Amazon UK and also Amazon US, and also to the Basenal website. So that will do for this video. If you found it useful, please do click the thumbs up. That really does help. Do subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more about the Tesla Model Y, I'll also put a link to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made on this car. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one.